First, though, a revolutionary new study has been launched which could change the way the health service is run. 260,000 people are being asked to take part in the largest health study of its kind, which would see patients' medical history shared with scientists. With more, here's our health correspondent, Rob Osborne. Our medical data holds vast information about us, who we are and the conditions we suffer from. At the moment, only a few people get to see our medical records, but what if that was shared more widely so that our health could be monitored over the years and patterns established? Well, now they can. We all know that research is critical to develop medicines to treat and cure diseases. Healthwise Wales has just launched. It's a study that will monitor 260,000 Welsh volunteers for five years, giving researchers at Cardiff and Swansea universities full access to their medical histories. Martin Vaughan from Rogerston near Newport has already volunteered. He suffers from a heart condition, just like his father before him. If more can be found out about sort of genetics, I, I think genetics is, is what the, is behind all, all this, and to be able to see so sort of decades before problems sort of hit people, what they can do to avoid these, these, these problems. And only by studying people over time will you be able to do that. The importance of this is that we can bring all that information together to help us understand the health of the population and also plan the NHS better for the future. This is a big, bold experiment, but those behind it insist the information will remain confidential and only be used for those involved in the research. Rob's here. Wales is the first place to do this on this scale in Europe. Yes, it is. And it adds to a long list of things in Wales that we are trying to do first. There's this. There was the smoking ban about 10 years ago. There might be a ban on the use of e-cigarettes soon. And, of course, in December, me and you were talking a lot about the change to the organ donation system. So another example of Wales trying to be bold, distinctive and first. So how will people get involved? Well, if this is going to be a success, we need 260,000 people. That's a lot. Mm. They've got about 500 at the moment. If you want to get involved, there will be road shows around Wales, there'll be things in the media and there'll be things uh, on the internet. You have to commit five years of your life to this, Andreas, if you want to do it, remember that. And the details you'll be providing will be looked at for decades to come. Who knows what discoveries they will be made. It's been hailed today as a success, but there are risks. The data will be anonymous, but should somehow it gets into the wrong hands of the people who shouldn't have it, then some serious questions will be asked. Quite something. Rob, thanks very much indeed.